got him. We're moving in. <laughs> Howdy, Sasher. Howdy. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back. We're in a living room away from home. Now, you guys have seen the truck camping. You guys have seen the fishing, the cooking. We're doing some ice camping, fishing, and cooking. So, we finally had some pretty pretty good weather both ways we had a cold enough week that it got down into the negatives and forged some really good ice but at the same time we got about a 40 degree day so we're going to utilize both those we got safe enough ice that we can fish and camp but at the same time we can stay warm through that it's still a little chilly out obviously um especially getting into night it's going to be chilly but we got some cool things for you we got an old generator we're going to get in that later the magical okat from cast king we're gonna be whipping up with some cast king rods and stuff like that but this cot's pretty nifty it's got some nice little storage things down here we got the grill back there we're gonna be doing some cooking catching cook stuff right here in case we decide to whip up a nice little fish and uh we got some minnows and stuff we got all the rest of our gear right out here basically home away from home we're gonna be fishing cooking camping and uh hopefully doing some catching so this is, this is something a little bit new for us usually we don't have to take enough ice to do the old ice camping here in the uh 402 so we're excited we did bring the underwater camera too so might even be able to get some cool eats, some cool footage on that for y'all. Without further ado, we're gonna get set up, drill some holes, get to fishing. You gonna whip up a good meal, Sasha? Of course. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we got the holes drilled, got the underwater camera, but before we drop that down here, Check this puppy out. The old Black Fire USA electric generator. We're actually gonna run a heater in here. We're gonna, let's see, hit the display. It has a nice display screen, tells you the battery percentage, um, how long it'll last. Has a bunch of USB ports. These other ports right here, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I act like I do. Has four regular outlets. Turn each one on. If I was gonna turn this one on, I hit that button. These ones, I hit that button. For this one, we're gonna turn that one on. It's gonna start running, and uh, we're gonna turn the heater on. It's on high right now. We probably don't need it on high. We're gonna turn it on low, and uh, whack a bam It has a nice storage thing for all your wires. Got some lights up here, some cords. It's kind of nifty. Close it up, boom. If we were gonna be out here for, you know, two, three, four days, it has solar panel charging. So we could actually run the wires from this, set the solar panels out on the ice, and it would charge itself. But you can be charging it while running your stuff in the tent. Perfect outdoor, uh, I, I call it the little generator that uh, is electric. And it's 1500 watts, so I'm pretty sure you can even do like air frying and stuff in here. It covers basically all your needs, so. Huge shout out to them, the old Blackfire USA. Drop the link below in the description. Definitely check them out. They have different sizes of these generators. We actually did bring the laptop too. We're gonna hook it up to a hotspot and uh, this power bank is gonna generate charge to the laptop so we can sit out here, watch some Netflix while we're camping. We're, we're doing the whole nine yards out here. We're camping in our living room out on the ice. Now let's get to fishing. All right, dropping the underwater camera down. Let's see if we're on any structure right here. We'll have a ton of visibility as you guys can see. We're gonna see if we're on any. Oh yeah, we got some weeds down there. That's what we like to see. A Little bit of vegetation, fish should congregate. Oh yeah, we got a lot of weeds. We got some weeds, some open. Looks pretty gnarly. Alrighty, I'm doing my favorite, the old Wonder Bread from Euro Tackle, the Z Biber. She's rolling with the old tungsten. This has a nice rattle in it, so I should be able to call some in, and then uh, she should be able to whack a bam them. And the bigger fish might even hit this, might even hit that. We don't know. Hopefully, we can get some on the underwater footage for you. Rocking with the old Cast King round and reel here. One thing I do like about these, check this out. You can keep this unit and then switch out the tip for different sensitivity and stuff like that. So huge shout out to them. These are pretty nifty reels and they got a bunch of different colors. So I actually color coordinate my uh, reel with my lines. This I got four, some I got six, eight, and then 10 pound braid. So that's how I, uh, I don't know, something I just do, but pretty nifty, uh, cheap, reliable, and uh, effective. We're gonna put her to use today. See if we can whip up some fishes. He hit it, I think. Hey, yeah, he came out of nowhere. He's on there. <laughs> yep, you're good. Oh, might be a decent one. He came out of nowhere. Yeah, he did. That's a good bass. Woo! Good work, old Sasha. He oh. came out of nowhere on the camera. Oh, he just spit it out. That's not a bad bass right there. No, but I honestly thought he was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> not a bad bass. Heck yeah. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> Sasha goes, oh. <laughs> That's a good bass. All right, what's his name? His name's Larry. Larry. All right, later, Larry. Good work, old Sash. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. I think he's gonna do it. Oh, he pecked it. Get him. Dinger! Yeah. Ooh, that's a big gill. Oh, nice. Big old gilly. Big, big gill. Golly, oh, he's got, I don't know if that's fin rod or what. That's interesting. Golly, that's a tank. 
Good work, old sock. <laughs> Finally getting cozied in here and catching some fish. We're marking some on the graph and everything's coming in. So we're going to catch some fish and then start some cooking here in a little bit. But we had to break the ice with the old fish. We got an eight inch hole. So that's about almost a nine inch gill. That's a fat gill. Good work. Thank you. Later, buddy. Keep jigging it. Now we're slowly raise it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Slowly raise it. He's just staring at it. Oh, no, I'm gonna pull mine out of the way. He's not gonna hit mine. He's just <laughs> interested in mine. Do it. Yes. Get him. Got him. <laughs> Good work, old Sai. Oh, he just came off. Not even a big boy. That's the one that just tried to hit mine off the bottom. I just dropped it down and he came right up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later little Timmy. I'm gonna throw a tip up out. I got two minnows, got the heads, the tails. And we're just gonna throw it down there. See if we can get a uh, big old crappy bass walleye. Big old kitty, that'd be sweet. We're just gonna meander it down there. All right, we're good. But there was two fish and they just stared at it. Really? Yes. Oh, it's warm in here. I'm sitting a tip of the... It's a big, big gill. Okay, there's a bunch of them. They're right on the back side of him. He's gonna see it. There's a bunch of them down there. You got it? Get the gill there. waxy worm on there. There's fish down there to catch. Oh, big gill. Look at that gill. Oh, he's gonna do it. He just kissed it. Wait till he's got the worm. Get him. <laughs> dinger, dinger. Dinger. Oh, that's a doink. <laughs> Got my fish. <laughs> what? He's he did crazy. not look that small. Oh my gosh, he was aggressive though. Giants only. <laughs> yeah, giants. <laughs> All right. Well, he was aggressive. Well, thanks, little Fred. Thanks, you didn't take my worm. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna do it. Hold on. He doesn't have it. Oh, he might have had it. Get him. <laughs> Got him. I think that one's a little bigger. Yep, yeah. that one's better. Not a little baby. <laughs> Look at that. All right. The bluegill is sure fired up today. That's a decent sized bluegill. If we were eating fish out here, that'd be pretty good. But we brought our own uh, gourmet food. Old Sasha's going to whip up something pretty, and, well, one of my favorites, but yeah, we'll let you keep that little snack, bud. That's your plan. Yeah. Good work, Sasha. Oh, yeah. Seven inch gill, maybe. Oh, no, he's eight inches. Eight inch hole, eight inch gill. Here, bud. That's what we like to see around here. Good one, Sasher. Couple more fish and uh, might whip up the cooking. Got the tip up set out out there. Sasha, can you undo that window? You're rebaiting. Oh. There you go. A little bit more light in here, see if we can see the screen better. Oh, yes. Oh, get him! There! <laughs> oh, that's a big gill. Big, big gill. Oh my gosh. Chunky. That is a big gill. Chunky monkey. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, wow. it's a big gill that just went down the hole. <laughs> um, she hooked herself <laughs> and went down the hole. Anyways. I still caught it though. That was about a 10 inch gill. <laughs> wow, that was a big boy. All right, let's keep going. All right, as you guys can see over there, we got the uh, propane heater going. We're giving the old black fire a break. It was sucking a lot of power out and we've been running it for a couple hours now. We want to make sure and utilize it for the laptop. Oh, oh big crappie. Jig it, jig it, jig it. Get his attention. That's a big crappie. You got him interested now. Now slow it down. Raise it up. That's a good crop. God, he didn't want anything to do with that. Oh yeah, he's gonna hit mine, I think. Sometimes you just gotta play with him. Make him go lower and then higher. Oh, he was down there chilling. What, you just gonna cover up the screen, bro? Yeah. I don't know, he didn't seem too fired up. Oh, oh. Oh, slowly jig it and raise it, slowly. Oh, he hit the wrong end. He hit the wrong end. Get him. Steer Try again. <laughs> Ooh, this one's coming hot. Yeah, he is. Keep doing that. That's a crappie. Keep, keep doing it, keep doing it. You should smack it. Slow it. Yep. Oh, he didn't like that. Nope. Get him. Atta girl, Sasher. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good gill. Gnarly. Not a bad gill. Let's see. Smidge over eight. About right on a eight on the dat. That's That'll a work. good one. Yeah, good work, old Sasher. Thank you. He came in out of nowhere. 
really and he was. came in hangry too. He wasn't playing. All right, later, bud. That well, was kind of fun out here catching gills, especially when they're big gills. Get a new bite. He was hangry. Yeah, he was. It's so, all. Like me. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do some whipping up here in the kitchen. We'll try a short. We'll try a short grub, waxy worm, whatever you guys want to call them. But it works, Sash. They're sure loving the tungsten today. She's rolling with the red tungsten. I got the uh, still rocking the Z Viber. They're not liking the big profile baits today, so. I don't know, definitely calling them in. Anything to get fish, we'll take it, whatever it is. We're just out here, escaping life, having a good time. He's getting closer. Oh, he turned hard there. Maybe he wants to pink. <laughs> He's mean mugging it. God, they were fired up. Oh, this one's coming out of nowhere. Oh. Get him! Got him! <laughs> oh, no I didn't. Oh, did it just break? Or no, it just came off. It just came off. Oh, he ran into the camera. That's why. Oh my God. <laughs> you had him. Who put that camera there? <laughs> he came in and smoked it. There was a whole school of gills down there and I they did not want it. That was a pretty big gill. I had him. I know. All right, sunset's going down the underwater camera. We're gonna pack this up here in a second, but we do got the old cooking. Old Sasha's whipping it up in the kitchen here. We got some pepper slow cooking up there. We got the old steak, we got some chicken. We're making some big old beefy tacos for you. Kind of tacos, burritos, slash whatever you want to call them, but we got a couple more ingredients we're gonna throw in there, but stay tuned, we're gonna feast. the booty we're excited to try this the big green egg you know those uh big old smokers and grills we're gonna try the old hot sauce from them the cayenne pepper hot sauce <laughs> got the tortillas the lettuce cheese and the onion Got the peppers, onions, and I just lost a knife. <laughs> right down the hole. <laughs> oh well. Whoopsie daisies. Good. Ooh, that looks juicy. This down here, that was hot. And look at that goodness. Honestly, that might be good. Yeah. Mix it up a little Gnarly. bit. Gnarly. Sasha's doing the mixture. Yo, rub some booty. Woo! It'd be steamy in here. How is this? Yo, rub some booty. Great on veggies. <laughs> We're just having a good time out here. Make them nice and soft down in there. We'll color good. Got the steak slow cooking. Got a bunch of steam in here. And uh, <laughs> got old Sasha whipping up a meal. It's a good time to be alive. All the madness going on in the world nowadays. It's better off out here. Try the old ice camping sometime. You ain't got no problems out here. It's always a good time on the water. Oh, I caught an onion. <laughs> God, that fish would hit too. Big one just came on the screen and he actually hit too. I'm sure that was a crappie. We got a flag up. Not sure how long it's been up. We were cooking. Oh, got him. Oh, it's a bass. I mean, still a fish, but darn, I was hoping it'd be a big cat. All right. Oh, he just popped off into my hand. Well, not exactly a targeted species, but we'll take him. Later, buddy. All right, that was cool. Time to go eat. Gnarly. Cut the old steak up. It's juicy. How was the chicken? It's good, I've been eating it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the chicken, the peppers, the steak. Bon appetit. Oh boy. Alrighty. And then the special ingredient, big green egg, cayenne hot sauce, and the old fat burrito. Some peppers in there. She'd be thick. You like a lot of cheese, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Get some nice old rice in there. Oh yeah. Some sweet little rice. 
Looking pretty good. Oh, he's coming up. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Scrump diddly umptious. It's a fat boy right there. Cheers. Woo! Cayenne sauce. I might be crying here in a sec. But we're gonna sit here and enjoy ourselves. We got a movie on Netflix. See where it goes from there. Sorry guys, but the fish was terrible tonight. The wind picked up, it's 12 mile an hour winds right now. Sorry, I was jamming. Sometimes that's how the fishing is, I don't know. Still having a good time out here, we're still snacking, still uh, drinking some water. I don't know if that wind picked up and it kind of shut down the fish. It was two mile an hour winds when we got down here, and now it's about 10 to 12. <laughs> anyway. Yo, Cobra Kai. Wah! Had a good time, Cobra Kai. Turn her on. It be charging. Howdy. Howdy. Good morning. <laughs> Eight fifty two. Good morning. Any fish on the ice? Yeah. Hello. Didn't even really get that cold in here. We shut the heater off, but with all the kind of ice and slush and insulation that we put down, kind of trapped the heat in. So, not a bad night. Fishing was pretty bad, but we are gonna get to fishing. Let's see if anything's down. Come on, kick on. There you go. The old trusty rusty. You can even drop the. Yeah, yeah, it's light enough. I don't we can drop the underwater camera too. Got some juice around, gonna drop down the water camera down. Hopefully we can do better than yesterday. All right, hydrate up, we're good. Get him! Yay, that a girl! Oh, he's in the camera. Oh no! God. You see him go in the camera? Yes. That was a big gill too. <sighs> Freaking kidding. <laughs> he caught your jacket. <laughs> that dude came in hot and heavy. Staring at it. Slowly raise it. We want to dump. Here's right next to the camera. <laughs> Got him. Got him. He came out of nowhere. Oh, no. oh he's coming up your hole. No! Oh. He just came off. That was a good bass, too. It's about how the chip's going. We're slacking. Yeah, we'll call it a half catch. All right, guys. Well, Sasha's gonna head out and get some breakfast for us. We're probably gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna fish just a little bit longer, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I don't know, try the ice camping sometime. Home away from home, it was pretty cool. I know the fishing wasn't uh, nothing spectacular. Oh, we got a fish right on there. I don't know if it's this nice weather now or what, but uh, maybe the air pressure, barometer level, something like that, but still a good time out here. Always a good time on the water. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs> got it. It's a perch. It's a perch. He's in the camera. No. He's in the camera, but it's a perch. And he just came off. Can't catch a break. Sometimes that's just how fishing is.